Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel that is still Elano. In this video, we are going to discuss 10th class physical science most important questions for FA2. So we are going to discuss the important questions for FA2. Okay, so this is our purpose guys. So and not only that, if you read all these questions, what I am going to discuss here in this video, this will be very helpful for you. Uh, in your SSC exams as well. That's why please don't skip the video. Watch till the end and please mark all these questions in your workbook or else class notes wherever it is. Okay. And do prepare well. Still you have time. Okay. So guys without wasting any time let's get into the video. So as I said you. We are going to discuss physical science most important questions for FA2 or else you can say SAMP okay so we have four chapters right i mean three chapters are given from physics first one is human eye and the colorful world second one will be metals and non-metals and third one will be electricity right so these three chapters are given for uh fa2 exam from physics okay so let's start this uh, we'll discuss all eight marks questions, four marks questions, one mark and two marks also. Okay. In some chapters, we have only eight marks and four marks. In some chapters, we have eight marks, four marks, two marks like that. Okay. Whatever it is, we'll just discuss it. Okay, guys, please uh, pause the video and write it down or else just mark it in your workbook or wherever it is. Okay. So let's start. Okay, let's see. So, from our first first chapter, that is the human eye and the colorful world. So, eight mark questions will be first one. Explain how do you correct the eye defect myopia with a suitable diagram, or else the question will be asked, what is myopia? How do you correct the eye defect myopia? Okay, so this is a very 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 important questions. Please mark it. And next question will be. So second one is explain the correction of the eye defect hypometrophia with a suitable diagram. Okay, you have to explain it and at the same time you have to draw the diagram also. Or else the question will be asked what is hypometrophia? How do you correct the eye defect hypometrophia? Okay, this, will, this one is also very important. And next third one is. So third one, fourth one and fifth one in these three questions I have just... Uh, uh, given you sub two two questions in this one okay they will ask you like this so this one for four marks this one for four marks total you are going to have this entire question for eight marks like this okay go through third fourth and fifth please mark it guys okay we'll see the next one okay we'll see the next one i mean one more questions okay let's see so one more questions is also very important Okay, actually I thought of not giving you these one more questions. Still I am giving you because if you read from this time itself, okay, it will be very helpful for you to crack your SSC physics public exam. Okay, so let's see guys. So one more question will be the human eye forms the image of an object as its dash. Okay, this is a choose the correct answer type. First one, cornea, it is pupil, retina. Okay, next second question will be the least distance of distinct vision for an healthy young adult is. Okay, four options are given. Just uh, write it down. Next third question will be the human eye can focus on objects at different distances by adjusting the focal length of the eye lens. This is due to. So, which one is the best option? Means correct option you have to mark it. Okay, so these three are the um, choose the correct answers type. Okay, L let's see one more questions. Okay, so next question will be what is the other name of far? What is the other name of far sightedness? Next question. So this this is important, guys, and this one is also define accommodation of lens. Next sixth one. What is the other name of near sightedness? You have to go through far and near sightedness. Okay, next very important what is presbyophia next question what is meant by cataract next ninth question define dispersion of light 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज मेंट बाय लीस्ट डिस्टेंस ऑफ विजन ओके गाइस डोंट थिंक व्हाट एवर आई एम मार्किंग दिस टाइप ऑफ स्टार मार्क्स दिस इज द ओनली इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन नो एक्चुअली आई हैव फिल्टर्ड ऑल द चैप्टर आई हैव फिल्टर्ड ऑल द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर चैप्टर एंड आई हैव गिवेन यू ऑल द क्वेश्चन ओके सो दीज आर ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ओके इन दट most important questions i am just marking like this okay don't think that these rest to questions are not important no guys these are all the important questions okay so next 10th question is what is bent by least distance of vision i already told you then 11th question is what type of image formed by the eye lens okay understood guys let's move on to the next chapter which is metals and non metals okay so in this chapter eight marks questions will be first one is explain the experimental procedure to investigate the conditions under which iron rust or else the question will be asked as suggest an activity to prove that the presence of air and water are essential for corrosion okay this question and this question both are the same okay you don't think this is this one is separate and this one is separate okay next question will be describe an activity to show how metals react with water okay this is very important guys okay actions of steam on a metal next third question will be how do metals react with solutions okay of other metal salts and describe an activity okay these three are the eight marks questions important from this chapter okay now we'll see the one mark questions means in this chapter we don't have four marks and two marks questions okay only eight marks and one mark questions are there that's why i uh, select and write it down so just see one more question will so first question is what are amphoteric oxides okay next second question name the alloy of copper and zinc third question will be what type of oxides are formed when non metals combine with oxygen okay next question write any one physical property of metals next one give an example of a metal which is liquid at room temperature next sixth one name the alloy of iron and carbon seventh one write any one physical property of metals okay next we'll see eighth question will be what is meant by ductility next ninth one write any one general property of ionic ionic compounds okay next question give one example of amphoteric amphoteric oxide okay last question give an example of a metal which can be easily cut with a knife okay these are the one mark questions from metals and non metals okay now we'll move to the third chapter which is electricity okay so in this chapter eight mark questions are only three please go through all this so first question will be direct the expression for the equivalent resistance of three resistors connect, connected connected in series in an electric circuit so most important okay next second question explain the following okay you may ask the question or uh, like uh, electric current you have to explain electric current or potential difference or ohms law okay this one is most important then electric power okay so you have to go through all this four sub questions okay next third question will be direct the expression for an equivalent resistance of three resistors connected in parallel in an electric circuit okay these two are uh, first one and third one are the same questions but here two questions are almost same but here they are connected in series here they are connected in parallel okay that is the difference please don't get confused most of the students will get confused uh, while writing the answer for this questions okay you have to observe whether they have asked you to write it down for parallel or else for series okay please uh, aware of this questions okay now we'll move to the uh, two marks questions of this chapter which are 
फर्स्ट वन वॉट इज अ सीरियस अरेन्जमेंट नॉट यूज फॉर डोमेस्टिक डोमेस्टिक सर्क्यूट्स ओके नेक्स्ट सेकेंड क्वेश्चन पोज एनी टू क्वेश्चन टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ओम्स ला ओके थर्ड क्वेश्चन वॉट इज टैंजेंट्स यूज ऑलमोस्ट एक्सक्लूसिवली फॉर फिलमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक क्लैम्स फोर्थ क्वेश्चन पोज एनी टू क्वेश्चन टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रेसिस्टेंस ओके नेक्स्ट फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन Why are copper and aluminium wires usually employed for electricity transmission? Next sixth question. What happens to the resistance of conductor if its length is doubled and area of cross section is halved? Okay. Understood, guys. Now we'll see one more questions. Okay. So one more questions will be here. In electric electricity, electricity chapter, one more questions will be given two or three. Okay, sometimes they will give two or three. Okay, please go through. Mostly they are asked to draw the symbols of any one of them. Okay, or else any two also they will ask you. And sometimes they will ask you the SI units of whatever I have given you here. You like that? Okay, please mark and learn to draw the symbols of this particular uh, whatever I will give you. So let's see. So first one is. draw the symbols sorry draw the symbol of a battery or else draw the symbol of electric cell or else draw the symbol of ammeter like that plug key or switch or voltmeter or electric bulb resistors resistance of variable resistance put v means potential difference so then current graph for ohms law okay so from this they will ask you definitely one or two questions to draw the symbol of any one of them okay or any two also okay let's see second one is what is the si unit of electric current or else write down the uh, si unit of unit of potential difference or else they will ask you what is the si unit of electric power or else resistivity okay please make sure you have to cover all this for si units okay last question means the third question still we have third question will be what is the commercial unit of electrical energy okay next question fourth question is how many joules are there in 1 kilowatt hour fifth question how is ammeter connected in a circuit next sixth one how is voltmeter connected in a circuit seventh one if two resistors if two resistors are connected in parallel then what is the equivalent resistance of combination of resistors last question name the device that help to measure the potential difference across a conductor okay guys i hope you all got the questions from all these three chapters for fa2 physics 2025 to 2026 i hope guys If you read all these questions, these questions will be very helpful for you in your public exams, public exams as well, as well. Okay, so guys, please don't skip any of these questions and learn, prepare well, and give your best in FA two means SMB two. Okay, I hope guys, this video is very helpful for you. So please, please don't. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you are new to my channel, then please hit the like button and do subscribe because uh, in this channel you are going to get all the important stuff, all the important stuff regarding to your class. And please join me on WhatsApp and Telegram. There also I'll upload some important questions as well as uh, English. Uh, sorry, English as well as some important tips. which help you for your fluent in english okay so guys thank you so much bye bye take care allah hafiz